Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be talking about um, our labor and delivery video. We're having this little cutie pie that's sitting here right here with me. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. So let's start off with just um what happened you know the day of leading up to actually giving birth so um it was may 5th yeah may 5th i was home and i was just ready to have this baby and you know just let's be over it you know just get him out i want to meet him and uh, I was home and just trying to find, you know, some stuff on how to induce labor at home. I called my mom and I, you know, I asked her, I'm like, hey, what do you think I could do to, you know, just try to speed up the process? Because um, I was due the Sunday, which was Mother's Day. And, you know, she told me you could drink uh time tea and whatever you know so i tried that i had about well like first before i tried it right i listen don't try this at home i'm just telling you my journey and what happened before i tried it i went online and i just made sure that okay this is safe and you know i could actually drink this you know so i went online found all of that and i had one cup and that was it and I started doing some, you know, bounces and, you know, trying to free up my pelvic um, by just bouncing on my yoga ball. And few hours later in that day about, uh, I started the process about like 10 in the morning and about 1 p.m. I started feeling some pain, you know, and like really feeling some pain so i'm like i'm wondering if this is yes i'm wondering if it's braxton eggs and uh, i'm in my mind i'm like no this can't be because this feels a little bit more painful you know th this pain is way different this is just way different so i went on the phone and i called my you know my best friend and in jamaica hi jojo and on the phone i'm telling her okay this is what i'm feeling you know this is what's going on and whatever and she was just there like laughing at me you know it was so funny because at the time while i was in all this pain i'm here doing hair and makeup because i'm like i'm not gonna be going into no labor and you know going into labor to go into hospital with my hair looking a mess or anything so i started doing my hair i didn't really like do any makeup because you know i wanted to hold my baby on my face and all of that and if i you know had makeup on and all of that i wouldn't want to get that on him so i only did like my hair my eyebrows and my you know mascara and whatever and that was it so i was home you know pain starting to get more and more intense and i called my husband because i'm like this pain is not going away it's still here so i think you should like head home from work good thing is he he doesn't work like you know very far away where i could have had the baby at home so he said okay i'm coming home i called my ob right away and i'm like this is what i'm feeling um i'm having contractions you know how many minutes apart and whatever and she's like okay keep watching it keep bouncing and you know if things get you know a little more intense give me a call and let's you know you go into hospital so i could check you out to see what's going on things got intense <laughs> really intense so my husband came home took a shower everything was already packed and we left for the hospital still having contractions everything 
when I got there, you know, she checked me and I was four centimeters dilated. She's like, okay, we're gonna keep you. You know, you're like, you're four centimeters. We're gonna keep you. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> Mind you, all of this is during COVID time. And I was there being monitored and everything. Pain getting intense still. I'm like still having all of those pains. At the time when I got to the hospital, it was about, um, about 5 p.m. When she checked me at that time, she checked me back again about about like 8 p.m. and I thought okay I would have moved from four to five nothing when well she didn't came back for the third check another person came back for the third check what I'm about to say I don't want to scare anyone or anything but it was very scary for me and intense being that you know this is this was my first and this is my first pregnancy and everything Someone else came, a nurse or whoever she is, came back to check me and trust me, I'm not body shaming or anything, but for someone with my small, short body and everything, this lady that came to check me, her fist, her hands, she was a big body person, okay? I'm very small, I'm just five feet. I'm not fat or anything, and I don't want to say the word fat or whatever, but I'm not. You know, I'm a small body person. This lady was freaking big, and she came back to check me, and it was like the most painful thing I've ever felt ever in my life. The size of her hands going up you know there was just it felt like i was being ripped open like someone was just literally ripping me open and that was just like a very terrifying experience for me it was it was just awful when she checked it, it was still four centimeters i'm like okay i'm upset and that was about like 11 p.m in the night i was still upset you know because i'm like I'm walking around, I'm moving around in the room, and still nothing, you know? Someone else came to, well, not someone else, my OB came to check me, uh, you know, the about 1 a.m. that morning, and I was in a lot of pain at that time. When she checked, I was four and a half. I'm like, okay, I'm, you know, it's progressing you know it's not like i'm at a standstill at four same way at that point i was in so much pain trust me pregnancy the pain you feel it's not normal it's it, it's not normal i had to get i didn't want it a epidural at that time because you know i was still in my four i was not five not six or anywhere because I didn't want to get an epidural until I was about seven centimeters, six and a half centimeters, but I was still at four and a half. So they gave me some medicine or whatever through my IV. And trust me, the moment they gave it to me, I was knocked out within like seconds. I was so drugged up, like I was like knocked out the moment she like injected into the IV she's like okay this is not gonna take the pain away but it's gonna help you know it's gonna take some of the pain away you know it's gonna just take some of it it's not gonna like fully take it away I'm like okay I could deal with that I can deal with the pain just not like that intense she's like okay got it I was like <sighs> I was just <laughs> in a phase where I was just talking just crap and laughing giggling it was just so hilarious but um yeah next morning um which was thursday morning because i was in hospital since the wednesday thursday morning now um my hobby came back check four and a half centimeters still i'm like now i'm getting like so confused because i'm like i'm doing everything i i'm literally like walking around 
doing all of what I'm supposed to do. It's Thursday morning and I'm still here. She's like, okay, let's just see what happens. Um, turn on your side. You know, she had me turning and all of that. Nurses came in, tried to help, all of that. And nothing. And they came back to check me. She was like, okay, we're going to send you home because you're not at five. You know, you're still at four and a half since like early this morning and nothing. And you came in at four and nothing. So we're going to send you home. I'm like, okay. She went out. I'm like, just as I'm like taking off the gown and everything, she ran back into the room. She's like, we can't send you home. I'm sorry. Your baby art rate, art rate is just dropping. And it's, you know, that's a sign to just tell us that we have to monitor you. You know, we just want to make sure you and your baby's fine and all of them. I'm like, okay, perfect. I'm like worrying now. I'm like crying tears. Like, what's going on? You know, like, why all of this is happening? What's going on? So she's like, don't worry. You know, we're going to like make sure everything is okay. We're here to do our jobs and that's what we're going to do. We're going to take care of you. And to be honest, I had like the sweetest people checking up on us, you know, both me and my husband, just making sure that, you know, I'm fine, he's comfortable and all of that. And, oh, mind you, when I went in, I was in the triage until Thursday, Thursday afternoon when she was about to send me home. That's when we moved from the triage to, you know, our labor and delivery room because um, she just wanted to make sure, okay, the baby's heart rate is dropping, you know, anything could happen. So we moved to the our room and that's when everything get like, got like crazy. I was there and they came back to check me and they're like, okay, you're at, you literally like just scraping five centimeters, like, you're not really dilating that fast and whatever. I know you're doing what you're supposed to do, but you know, sometimes the body just doesn't work the way how we want it to work. I'm like, I'm getting, you know, a little frustrated and everything because it's sad to know that you're trying to do everything that you are supposed to do to get your baby out and just to meet your baby and everything. And then none of that seems to be working. So, Thursday still, uh, they're like, okay, we're going to give you some Pitocin. Pitocin is something that they give you to speed up your contraction so you could dilate faster and all of that. But with Pitocin, you, you know, contraction is pain. I'm, they're giving me, they're like, okay, we're, we're going to give it to you at one. One is like the lowest level of like you know just pain itself and how intense one is like the lowest level i'm like okay i could do one <clears throat> i'm sleeping and i'm just feeling this awful pain you, th like it was so like mind you regular contractions plus contractions when you get pitocin is a whole nother level of pain that you're feeling right there I woke up and I'm like, okay, no, I I need something. They're like, okay, do you want the epidural? I'm like, no, I'm not ready for the epidural yet. You know, I'm still not nowhere really. They're like, okay, do you want we, what we gave you last night? I'm like, sure, which I love that because when they gave it to me, the pain kind of go away, not go away, but you know, subsides and I fall asleep, which I get to rest a little bit. I got that, right? About, I, would, I, did, I can't even tell you about like 30 minutes after or nothing like that. But all I know, in the middle of sleeping again, I felt something, man. Like, that pain was different. That pain was just like real pain right there. And I got up again. I'm like calling to my husband. I'm like, you need to get the nurse. Like, you need to get someone for me. He called, you know, someone came. I'm like what level is the pitocin on she's like oh we bumped it up to two you know i'm like what like at least you could let me be aware of it she's like you were resting i didn't want to wake and like in my mind it was just like 
like a big explosion like I was angry because I wanted to know like if you're gonna bump something up you could tell me like you know <laughs> you could tell me and that pain was just so terrifying you know it was terrible it was painful it's pain pain is painful okay so I'm there laying on the bed still trying to just hold out this pain you know just trying to hold out the pain like okay I could do this I could manage this pain and I couldn't I couldn't mind you they just gave me that other medication to try to take some of the pain away but that pain, that pain, that Pitocin pain, that's not, that's not regular pain, okay? That pain, mm -mm. it was painful. When she came back to check me, she's like, oh good, you're at six centimeters. I'm like, yay, you know, like, okay, this Pitocin is working at least. I couldn't bear the pain at that time. So I'm like, could you get the, the um, anesthesiologist, like, you know? I need this epidural now. She's like, okay, sure, no problem. That was about Thursday, uh, one o'clock somewhere there. One, p no, what am I saying? It was about 3 p.m. or so. Anesthesiologist came, you know. Um, I, I looked at my husband, I'm like, listen, when this man walks in or whoever walks in to give me this this um epidural in my back because basically epidural is you know goes in your back whatever needle all of that tubes whatever i didn't want to see or see his reaction to whatever they're sticking in there because he has like this thing where he reacts to like everything and i could know like if it's scary and then i didn't want to get scared so i'm like listen when they come just don't have a reaction you know sit there just don't have a reaction. He came. He's like, okay. He's talking to me like, okay, this is what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to inject you with a, like a numbing agent where that's going to actually help me to push whatever it is that he's going to insert in my back so I don't feel it. I'm like, okay. He went ahead and did it. And to be honest, I've heard... A lot of stories where people getting their epidural put in and it it hurts mine was not like that I, I literally didn't even feel anything I literally didn't even feel when he injected me with um, the, the just a regular needle to numb the area I didn't feel anything I don't know if it's because I I just like recently got that other medication to take some of the pain away or what but I didn't feel anything and it was great and I thanked him, you know. Anyways, laying there, having my epidural, I'm like floating on clouds because I can't feel anything. <laughs> I can't feel anything. She came back, checked me. Oh, you're at eight centimeters, you know. I'm like, yay. That was actually in the night. Friday morning comes now about 10 a.m., she came, checked me. She's like, oh, you're at nine centimeters. Only one more left to go. Um, You know, let's try starting some practice pushes. I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. She's like, perfect, you're doing such a great job. We'll see you back really soon so we could, so you meet your baby. I'm like all excited and everything, right? Okay, hi, everyone. Oh, oh my God. I was gonna see this video, but this is me before, you know, before I actually take a nap to start pushing this baby out. I'm so excited. Um, I'm tired. My eyes are, I'm like literally straining to open my eyes. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited and I can't wait to meet my little pumpkin, my little Xander. And just, you know, it's going to be very emotional for me. Um, so yeah, I'm here laying down, all hooked up, and ready to have this baby. Um, she came back, she's like, you're at nine and a half. 
you know, she's like, okay, let me see what's going on. Um, oh, before I get there, my water broke on its own, so they didn't have to break my water, which was amazing because I heard that I heard that could have been painful too, but it broke on it. It broke on its own. Yes, so she said, okay, we're we're gonna come back. When she came back about twelve o'clock, she's like, you're still like you're close to ten, but there's like this flesh, you know, that's left to like get out of the way for your baby head to be able to come down your, your passage. So I'm like, she's like, okay, let's try to push, you know, try to push to see if you could push his head over it. I tried doing that, nothing. Apparently his head was like turned, like, Crooked, not like the way I, I would supposed to be for him to come out. She tried to help him to turn it, nothing. So she's like, okay, let me come back, you know, an hour from now and see what's gonna, you know, see what changes. She came back, nothing changed. This is where everything like started to get really scary for me. When she came back and nothing changed, she said, okay, we've been monitoring you and your baby since Wednesday and his heart rate keeps dropping and that's not something that, you know, you want to see or basically it's not good news. I'm like, okay, she's like, we're going to have to do a C-section. I was on the bed, drugged up. Everything was all a blur. They did came to me before they talked about the C-section. Just a precaution as in, just in case, this is what we're gonna have to do. I didn't go to the hospital planning for a C-section because my whole pregnancy, I made sure I did what I was supposed to do. And this is where I realized that sometimes when you think that you know you want some things to work out a certain way it doesn't it really doesn't and she's like you know that's what we're gonna have to do um yeah let's sign the papers they explained everything to us risk you know what could happen you know just everything pros and cons and we understood you know but it was still scary because C-sections are scary. They got me dressed, prepared. Well, I was already dressed, but they got me prepared and all of that. The anesthesiologist had to came back, come back in to give me more medicine because it was in from like the day before and it was just like running out and I started to feel pain. They came back, pumped me up, you know, gave me like way more medicine, whatever, in the, the epidural to whatever it is that they do to make sure you don't feel anything when you know you're gonna be cut open i they came and gave my husband his stuff that he needs to get undressed and uh, took me to the theater my husband was you know at back waiting in the room until a nurse or someone come and you know went to get him so he could come in to the theater to see you know be with me and everything while i was being wheeled in there i was scared all i was looking up at was because i'm laying flat on my back while they're wheeling me there was just bright lights and in my mind i'm like god please just let this go safe you know i just want to be okay my baby to be okay you know for my family to just be one and when i went in it was scary because i'm seeing all type of sharp stuff listen i'm walking in a room i'm like i'm not walking but you know what i mean i'm like looking side to side like okay I'm seeing knives, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing all type of clamps and all type of stuff. Like, that freaked me out. I'm like laying there, so scared. I'm like, where's my husband? Where's my husband? Is he coming? Is he here soon? You know, because I was like panicking. They're like, 
he's on his way he's gonna be here in a few minutes um i think they had started but not like to take the baby out or any of nowhere there they weren't anywhere there but they i know they had started before he got there which was basically just checking to make sure i can't feel anything from basically my breasts down and at which i couldn't he came sat there and just crying like we were both crying i was throwing up and crying I was like getting sleepy and all type of things was just running through my mind. Why am I getting sleepy? This is not good. Why am I throwing up? This is not good. You know, like it was just overwhelming. And a few minutes after I just heard the doctor said, oh, we're about to take your baby out. And I heard his cry. cry was like the loudest cry ever and it was just amazing to hear his cry because you know when you hear your baby's cry like they're fine you know he's breathing you know he's okay i could have seen them um taking over to the table and you know cleaning him up all of that my husband got to cut the umbilical cord and all of that and it was just beautiful i mean they were so nice to like take our phones and like take pictures play whatever music it is that we wanted to listen to it, it was beautiful it was beautiful but and scary you know it was really scary they stitched me up you know, my husband and the baby went out before me. When I got back to the room, they were there waiting on me. And I got to hold my baby. And it was just, it was just beautiful, you know? It was, it was so beautiful. It was very touching, sad, you know, but it was beautiful. Thank you guys for watching my labor and delivery story and stay tuned to stick around for my um, recovery video. That was interesting too. Very interesting. Uh, so thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you stick around. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Turn on your post notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Say bye-bye. Say bye. Thank you for watching.